It's like when the air hit my tongue, it hurt. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First Week Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're joined by Lizzo. She's a three-time Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter, and I wouldn't be surprised if she adds a few more of those trophies to the mantle with her latest project. It's called Special, No Features, No Skips, and it's available now. Lizzo, welcome to the show. Come on, talk that shit for me. <laughs> Thank you. Happy to be here. Well, you deserve it. And before we get started, how are you around spicy food? So, I'm pretty good. I had an addiction to hot Cheetos, and I survived the one chip challenge. Ooh. So I think this is gonna be um, a piece of fucking cake. <laughs> so try me. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> it smells really good. It's fragrant. There's notes, there's floral notes. <laughs> All right, let's get it. All right, let's get it. And then you'll start at the other side. I start here or here? There, there, there. Bitch, you almost had me start at the motherfucking end? No, no, I was, I was on it. I was I on it. I touched it. it. I, well, yeah, be careful with that. I touched it. Okay, this is the first one. Yep, the classic garlic fresh. Damn. Salad. You almost had me fucked up. <laughs> I was watching. That's good. So I want to start by congratulating you on the release of Special, a 12-track opus that you've described as your sonic dream. And in a recent interview with Vulture, your producer, Ricky Reed, tells this story about how you laid down the gauntlet in the studio, telling him, I want to lead the conversation regarding drums. Can you unpackage that? <laughs> we It was a conversation that we had where, like, you know, fast music wasn't really a thing right now. It's not popular. It's like slower drums are more popular, like the like the trappier drums. And I was like, what happened to the I'm so excited? <laughs> what happened to those like fast, like fun 80s drums? So yeah, we wanted to speed up drums in the 2020s. Like every decade, there's a new musical sound. And I'm like, why not make a statement? You know, and then the opening bars, they can be kind of tricky, but they're important because they can set the tone for the album. Was it immediately obvious to you that Special should open with, hi, motherfucker, and then you talking <laughs> about making smoothies? Hi, motherfucker, did you miss me? <laughs> no. I actually wanted to start the album with like a moodier, like I had this like beautiful song I wrote and I'm singing, it's a ballad on violins, no drums, like super dark. And then I was gonna be like, this is the intro. You know, and then, ha, motherfucker happens. And then Julie Greenwald from Atlantic Records was like, no, no, this is the beginning of the fucking album. And I sat with it for a while and I was like, duh, like every Lizzo album starts with like a fanfare in your face. Like, I'm crying, cause I, you know? And so this is like a classic Lizzo album intro right in your motherfucking face. <laughs> That wing was good, I ate the whole thing. I saw that, are you ready to move on here to the next one, Adobo Loco Island Wing Sauce? Oh, it's island? Yeah, yeah. What island is it from? A little tropical vibe over here, Hawaii. It's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, real good. I might be like the greatest of all time. Cause this is nothing. You know, there's something in the air right now. It feels historic. Mm -hmm. You know, something cut. Legendary. The air. Yeah, legendary. 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 Mm, that was good. So you experienced a whirlwind breakthrough in 2019, but I know the road to get there was a winding and exhausting one, working through music scenes in Minneapolis and Houston, and for a while even living in your dented Subaru. What would you say is unique or distinguishable about Minneapolis's underground hip hop scene? Because it had kind of a mythical place for me growing up listening to like Atmosphere and wow. Brother Ali and Idea and Abilities. Wow, holy shit, yeah. Like, um, there is an incredible like rap and local scene there um, that I didn't even know about. Like, cause you know, I'm from Houston. Yeah. And I remember when I was like wondering, like, should I move to Minneapolis? I don't know, because there was a producer that was like, come live with me. Da, da, da. I went to South by Southwest that year, which I went every year. 
And that particular year, every band I went to see or every show I went to, I was like, where y'all from? They're like, Minneapolis, right. Minneapolis. I was like, how is every Minneapolis band here like saturating South by Southwest? And I was like, this is a sign to go. And I went and like, there's so many incredible rock and music clubs there. So many incredible bands, rappers, performers, singers. You could sell out every venue there with local acts alone in one night. I had like the chalice and girl party and I dropped Lizzo bangers there and they supported me so fucking much in Minneapolis. Pound for pound, what would you say is the throwback underground Lizzo rap song that had the hardest bars? Wegula? You're so wild. How do you know about that? Oops, my bad. I didn't know you was a Wegula. <laughs> Tell these people I used to rap. Um, I mean, let's we gotta give it to batches and cookies. I was rapping so fast. Remember that gooey gooey you took and said ooey ooey I need two or two of these for my baby booey ooey floating like buoys you got a nice pair like some boobies are you high off that doobie doobie with your Mystery Machine Scooby feeling bad with your shit BBB don't make nothing stop it, it keep going still got it <laughs> I still, still got fucking it. got it <laughs> are you ready to move on here to this next wing you're doing so good yeah this is like literally I'm sleeping right now whoa I'm sleep. This one good too, I got a leopard on the front. So you often hear Hollywood actors talk about formal acting training, but not so much with musicians. How, if at all, do you think that studying classical music theory shaped or informed your approach to making hits now? For me, um, I just had to breathe backwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to breathe backwards <laughs> on that one. Um, open the window Yeah, I know that bit. move. <laughs> Being classically trained is incredible because I feel like I can speak a language. You know, I make pop music, but I like to think that I make really musical, interesting pop music that, you know, I think a lot about the composition. You know, I want my music to sound good even when you mute my vocals. You know what I'm talking about? And you hear the track and you be like, damn, this is like a rich piece of music that, you know, fucking John Williams can conduct with the fucking Boston John Pops. Williams, yeah. John Jurassic, Park. Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, Jaws, yeah. Star Wars, Shout e. out, legend. Legendary Harry Potter, <laughs> all of it. Understanding the time signature you're in, harmony and dissonance and rhythm and cadence. I think it is important. And then I, I read a blog post from a music theory teacher. The thesis of it was this. Rumors flirts with Phrygian mode. I hope I'm saying that right. Rumors flirts with Fijian mode using a great deal of chromaticism. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, but confirm or deny. Confirm. Um, the song it was it was difficult because it goes between major and minor, and um, so it's a half step up and down. So. Um, so those two, that was a major and a minor change in one song, and it, and it goes back pretty quickly. Yeah, it's pretty intricate musical shit right there. Shout out to whoever the who is that? I'll, I'm gonna I'll find the byline, but but you co sign. Shout out. Shout out. Shout, shout out. the fuck out. Shout the fuck out. Mm hmm. Hitting. It's good. <laughs> what, DJ Khaled did like two of these? Yeah, we got to three, so we, we just made it past the Khaled mark over here. I understand why he stopped it. <laughs> I do. It. You get it. That's good. Yeah, so far hitting, so far Which we're one? good. Which one? Los mm -hmm. I like that. There we go, there we go. From an artist's perspective, how do you decide on a lead single? About Damn Time was the last song I wrote for the album. I was turning in my masters in March. I wrote About Damn Time in February, and I was like, this one? Mm, about this one, because the hook wasn't done, verses wasn't in a minute, I'm gonna need a, it wasn't there yet. So I was like, mm, mm -mm. And when I finished it, I was like, oh fuck. This I song needs to come out right motherfucking now. That I've been so down and under pressure, I'm way too fine to be this stressed. It's like, hello, we needed that right then when I dropped that motherfucker. So, I'm so bad at picking singles for myself because I think everything I do is incredible. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. I'm just going to breathe. Because, <laughs> like, breathing for some odd reason is getting mm -hmm. a little weird. It's getting a little weird. It gets dangerous over here. It might be the yitty. The yitty, you know, is holding <laughs> me in. Hold on, give me a second. There you 
There's a chili. That's coming back to you, right? You know why? It's probably you're having a Pavlovian response that's bringing you back to the one chip. No, no. Yes, because there's a common thread in the pepper that Carolina Reaper. I didn't think about that till just now, but yeah. This isn't bad. It's just, I got scared for a second, but now I'm good. Oh, crushing it. Just crushing these vegan I'm looking nuts. at you and your motherfucking eyes. You, I know, Are I you can eating see. the chicken? I'm right with you, I'm right with you, I'm right with you. Okay. I'm right with you. It's some lumpy. Okay, no, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm intrigued by this quote of yours. I don't look to celebrities for style anymore because I've learned the chain of command. With that in mind, what we want to do is show you some iconic looks from the past. We'll pull okay. them up over here on the monitor. I was just that. curious sort of how you reflect on these things looking back, okay? Okay, cool. So the first one. Damn, I'm such a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what went into masterminding the candy bar look from the 2020 Brit Awards and then shout out to the clutch? I'm American chocolate. I look like a snack. There's a chocolate drop on my head too. And the makeup oh. is chocolate and my nails are chocolate bars. See, those are the details. That's what I'm looking for right here. Yeah. The purse say 100%, that bitch. <sighs> we good. <laughs> oh, Versace. Two times at the Grammys. Multiple Versace dresses in that oh, Grammys. Yeah, I had to do it twice. It was my first time going to the motherfucking Grammys, so we wanted to be like super old Hollywood, classic. Wow. You chose some really beautiful photos. I just did an interview the other day, and they chose some of the first pictures ever taken of me of all time. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wearing flannels and, and duck shoes out of my motherfucking closet. Um, so thank you for this. Um, yeah, I wanted to be classic, and um, I, I was. I look beautiful. So this next one is the collared and ghost here from Hot and Saucy. I just want to shout out. This looks like a black female-owned business. It and is. I want to say shout out to my sisters. Keep running this shit. Start your business today, because we on hot ones. And let me tell you, girl, I'm loving the blowout. It's twist out, whatever yo, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, um, I'm a high porosity girl, so I don't know what your porosity. Is. All right, let's get it. Yeah, let's hope you, <laughs> let's hope you enjoy the sauce after all that. Cause if it's nasty, I'm gonna be like, what the <laughs> yeah, fuck? Yeah. It tastes like collard greens. Mm hmm As advertised. This I can get into. We gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. <laughs> I'm not mad at this. There we go. Do you find that as your star power grows, does it become easier or more challenging to stay ahead of the zeitgeist? It's growing. We're good. You thought I was gonna fall? No, you no. thought I was gonna fall. Oh, I you never, thought I was gonna never, DJ Khaled never. this shit? <laughs> they didn't want me to win. <laughs> when I was young, right? I used to have these ideas and I would write songs and stuff and I would think of things and then like months and, or like a year later, I would hear that song that I had the idea for on the radio or I would see things and I'd be like, damn. Like I felt very like, I got the same ideas that the people who are putting out the ideas got, and um, I've always had confidence in that. So even now, as the static gets bigger and, you know, I become so synonymous with the cultural zeitgeist, I think that my confidence that I've had ever since I was little and my vision is, has stayed true. So I really do trust my instinct. It's the one thing I can trust in this crazy fucking world. Are we doing any more wide shots? Uh, maybe. Can I take my shoes off? Go, go for it. Because for some, I just, I can't really take. <laughs> just go ahead. I can't take it no more. Make yourself at home oh, over here. Fuck. Who the fuck is Tear <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> How far forward are we on the spice level? So, as you can see, we're approaching the finish line over here. We are in six-figure Scoville numbers right here. Can you tell the bitches at home? Uh, bitches at home. <laughs> Bitches at home, we are climbing. We are climbing right now. Y'all thought I wasn't gonna win? You thought I was gonna falter? <laughs> Rock a Gibraltar, you know what I'm saying? Rock a halter top. Well, speaking of, speaking of, and the chain, the Yiddy chain, what tools in your life as an entertainer do you think have served you best as the CEO of a shapewear brand like Yiddy? 
I'm gonna finish it. You okay. wanna finish yours? Don't <laughs> be a little bitch. I'm going with you. I'm going with finish you. I'm along, way. I'm along for the Lizzo ride over here. No reaction. <laughs> <laughs> um, CE Ho is what I like to call myself. <laughs> Like, I'm very hands-on with my career, hands-on with everything that I do. Like, there's a specific kind of bra, and I'm wearing it right now, that I wanted to make just for me. It's a long line bra that pushes up your titties and holds the sides. And I can have them in different colors, so I don't just have to wear them underneath my shirt. This was a very selfish dream endeavor that, you know, I selfishly brought to the world. <laughs> you're like, you I know, wanna make clothes for me. It's selfish when you're creating it and selfless when you're putting it out. How are you doing so far? I feel great. I feel a good tell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was cute, right? Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Yeah, you are. Oh, there we go. I'm the fucking captain now. There we go. I know. I know. Oh. <laughs> oh, now I can't go to the. I know, now I can't go to that. Because I just dipped a bomb in there. Jesus, Jesus, There's Jesus. There's nowhere to run. Jesus, over Jesus, here. Jesus. So I know that you've been on the hunt for the best plantain sandwich in the entire world. Where are we at on that journey? Like, Sorry. have you found the one yet? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Go ahead. Tear oh the place God. up. I feel like my ancestors was talking to me for a second. <laughs> <sighs> they said, stop. You know? My titty hurt. <laughs> my titty. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. Fuck. <sighs> my titty said, stop. All right. Hold on. Yep, yep. You did this before? Fuck, you did that one? I'm sorry, I'm gonna answer the question. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plantain sandwich. <laughs> it's like when the air hit my tongue, it hurt. Hold on. Take your time, take your time. My hair can't wait. I had a really good one, that black freaking vegan. Really good one in New York, you know? I feel like it was seasoned. It was juicy. <sighs> Had vegan cheese on it. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. When does it stop? So the worst is over. When does it stop though? <laughs> this, when does this one stop? 15, 20 minutes from now, this will all just be a memory. <sighs> It'll all be a memory. <gasps> Careful around your eyes and stuff. I'm not gonna touch my eyes. Shit. Damn, that was fucked up. I know. I no, know. I'm serious. What the fuck? I, you know what you did. I do, I do. You know what? And this is always a show, you I took feel like. Two bites. And that was on you though. So I feel like this you're my is, brother. This is Spider-Man meme kind you're of. You're my brother, you know? yeah, yeah, right? And you're my sister, Lizzo. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Grinding. <laughs> All right. I can eat this one. Whoa. I'm gonna just try to keep up over here. Keep up with me. I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, what else we got? What are the intangible qualities that distinguish a good backup dancer from a great backup dancer? I think that a great backup dancer. <clears throat> Great backup dancer has an awareness. Good backup dancer can dance. They learn the moves. Great backup dancer has an awareness of the space around them. A great backup dancer can pick some shit up. Somebody throw something on stage. A great backup dancer can pick it up, still hit the steps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A great backup dancer can support me energetically on stage. I think a great backup dancer. That's all I got. 
I don't got nothing else. Mm-hmm. One bite was fine, right? Yep, yep. Here, what check this out. What the fuck is out. that? What the fuck is that? We're coming in. We've got oat milk ice cream. Oat milk ice cream. We got vegan got no ice cream butter. to the rescue. Mm. Mm. Fuck, that feels good. Yeah, I had to right. <laughs> <laughs> You, you held up. <laughs> you are that bitch. You are really that bitch. Last dab. Last dab. Gordon Ramsay, he cool. He a cool guy. He's the fucking best. All right. <clears throat> That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> all right. All right. What a dream. We did it. Album out. Giddy out. Watch out for the big girls. Emmy nominated. Six Eat. times. Six times. You, I'm with Lizzo. you. Top of the mountain. And still, this was the, this was the highest on my list of goals. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like the absence of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it All right, comes let's just back see it. Let's see there so I can yep, do this. Yep, yep. Oh, is this hot? Everything is. We're going in, going in. Following with the ice cream and Lizzo, we've made it. We've conquered the wings of death today, and if we've learned anything along the way. Wings of life! From church choir to Destiny's Child to classic flute, your music predilections, your influences, they run the gamut. So to close things out, I wanna do kind of a quick association game with you where I toss out a musical act, and you just give me the first thought or two that comes to mind when you think about them, okay? James Galloway. (laughs) Ha, the man with the golden flute. Marijuana death squads. You like Fun. that one? You like that one? You took me back. <laughs> I'm in death squads. I'm in death squads. Um, fun. Lil Flip. Oh my God. Freestyle King. Coldplay. Oh, Coldplay, incredible band. I did it. That's it. We Let me said have it. that there was history. There was history in the room today, and it is time to put the crown on Queen Lizzo's head, taking on the wings of death and living to tell the tale. This is the hottest fucking sauce I've ever had in my entire fucking life. I just want to say thank you to all of y'all who believes in me. Watch out for the big girls. We six-time Emmy nominated. Go stream special. And go get some Yitty. Yitty Yitty.com, bitch. (laughs) We did it. I feel like the queen right now. I couldn't believe how hard it was to focus on the questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can I was tell like, that. Yeah. I was like, uh, I wanted to answer so bad. Oh, shit, this shit hot. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? Thank you so much for watching today's video. The season 18 sauces, they're here. And you know what that means. Dom, box me. So is the big box. The season 18 Hot Ones box is now available at heatness.com. That's heatness.com to get your hands and all of the season 18 sauces delivered straight to your door in one convenient box. Don't forget to be careful around the eyes.